to the Crystarium. Hi. To meet up with some old friends. Yeah, I learned it. What's the next one? Wow, literally eight on this page I can't do because they're all dungeons. Damn it. So this one I just learned is called Exuviation. Restores own HP and the HP of all nearby partner members. Cure potency of 50. Wow, that's garbage. <laughs> garbage. I mean, there is a lot of spells. I wouldn't expect them all to be useful. Well, this one is increased to 300 when you're under the effect of Mimicry for healer. So mm -hmm. I guess it's not bad for an AoE heal if, you know, you're an actual healer. Gotcha. Turning mm. Mists. I guess I could go there. Churning mists, where are you? Looking for cloud wyverns. <coughs> Skip me. Kind of annoying they look the same. What looks He's the same? He's going to do reflux. Uh, these wyverns that are over here. Oh, they have like two different ones you need to kill, or you're looking for a specific one? Yeah, but they look similar. Gotcha. into the Crystarium area. Here we go. <clears throat> it's been a while, Crystarium. Here I never do, besides the roll quest, of course. I think these are. Yeah. Okay, to the cabinet of curiosity. Oh boy. Following event cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. Oh boy. Oh shit. Which means get ready for a scene.
It's Beck Lug, or however you say that name. <laughs> Are they really only over here? struggle let's just say this may come as a surprise like that actually Those are weird, like, quests. You're just standing here surveying while people are like, Hey, Warrior of Darkness, I know you. <laughs> I am not streaming anymore. There wasn't anybody chit-chatting, so I was like, hey. Oh, it's the little fairy beezy. There she is. Freaking Tinkerbell and shit. She's adorable. <laughs> and yeah, my chat's been mostly quiet. FML popped in for a little bit after he was done watching something. But I think mostly it's just been lurking, lurking, lurking. People who are actually here. Yeah, it happens, especially when it's this game. Indeed. Hey, Toast is here, though, and Morrow, he's got a joke for you. Ooh, okay. <laughs> what name has no one ever given a camel? <laughs> I feel it's like a camel, jo a camel toe joke somewhere in there, but... We're going to find out. I don't know. <laughs> Humphrey. <laughs> That's funny. Good job, Toast. GG. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm not high enough level. Dang it. Gotta switch back to my Reaper.
Now I can skip the cutscene if I want. Not that I'm trying to, but just that first part was unskippable. That is a questo completo. Me too. So many questos. Hope upon a flower. Oh boy, it's time to go talk to Elidibus now. I don't think you can learn two spells at the same time. It's either one or the other. So if there's a boss, we have to just hope to learn one and not have to not have to do it again, basically. Mm -hmm. Because there's one monster I'm trying to fight, but he can teach you two spells. Mm -hmm. You only got one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Reinitializing Sidgus Tower Systems. Searching for Elidibus Entity. Searching for Elidibus. Target located in Subterranean Core Power Accumulator. Projecting image. My home. My friends, no more than a dream. <sighs> you, why have you awakened me? I no longer sense those places beyond, or Lord Zodiac. You must explain all. See, about Zodiac, well... <laughs> so, he has fallen, and my brethren's souls returned to the star. The doom we sacrificed so much to prevent is come again. Old burdens now yours to bear. But if this is Van Daniel's design, then I, as Elidibus, have a duty to fulfill. Your unsolicited act has restored to me some few memories of the Convocation. Such knowledge as I have, I will share. I do this not for you. I merely perform my duty, as I have ever done. Where to begin? Ah, the end. 
Your understanding of what caused the final days is consistent with our own. The decay first took root where the currents were weakest. Yes, a conclusion drawn by him, Fan Daniel. Not the him of here and now, but as I knew him, long, long ago. Having shed light upon the phenomenon, he dedicated himself to devising a countermeasure. Were it not for his knowledge of the Celestial, we would never have made the connection, and thence forestalled the final days. And though he inherited that noble soul, how different this last incarnation, so consumed by self-loathing and hate. Alpis. Yes, the name is familiar to me, yet I know it not as a flower, but a place. A testing facility for determining which of our creations were fit to be released into the world. Many worked there, and before joining the Convocation and assuming the title of Fang Daniel, he was their chief. He was Hermes. That is all I know. The crystals tell little of the lives the 14 led prior to their induction. Elpis itself would tell even less. Nary a ruin has survived. Wait. I saw you there. In Elpis. I did. I did. A lingering trace of impossibility. And a truth that fills my heart. My memories remain clouded, I fear. However, they have revealed to me one possible course. You must travel to Elpis, to the time when Hermes served as its chief. In glimpsing the Exarch's memories, not only did I make his summoning magic mine own, I also mastered the workings of this tower, which, having absorbed my empowered essence, now harbors an abundance of energy. As such, I believe I can deliver you unto the past, unto that place and that precise moment. Given the eons that must be traversed, the gateway will not be fully formed. Your form will be less tangible still than those warriors of light I had summoned. In all likelihood, none will be able to see or hear you. Yet even should you manage to interact with others, you will be unable to affect meaningful change. For the reality you wish to save, the reality to which you must return, exists as a result of the final days. You cannot reshape the past to undo the tragedies of the present. Cannot unmake the sorrow and suffering fated to come. In full knowledge of this, will you still entrust your life to your foe and make the journey? I mean, do I have any other choice? Very well. I shall cast you unto the river of time. Let this be my final act. You must input the commands. I no longer have the authority. First, 
You must reconfigure the systems, that the tower's ether may be channeled for the magic. Okay, I guess we're going to go back to the past. The preparations are complete. The gateway will soon open. Return at once to the ocula. Is the past going to be one of the places we like get to go? Like it's going to be a whole area? I'm actually quite interested in this. All appears to be in order. The ether flows unimpeded. The magic should consume every last mote of my essence. Why are you surprised? Did I not say that this will be my final act? Lord Zodiarth is no more. There is nothing for me here. The ones I love and long to see again are waiting. In that promised land. Beyond memory and dream. Now go, warrior of light. Go, and do not look back. Never look back. <clears throat> well, Hydaelyn, I take my leave of you. Yours is the mantle of the last of us. May you have the joy of it, the burden, and the solitude. It falls to you now, you and your champion, to save our star. Well, alrighty then. To the past we go, I guess. I also didn't catch when Mara said she was going to pop out because I was grabbing a snack real quick. It like, took me like one second, and I think she left during that one second. So hey frog, welcome in sir. In the middle of a cutscene, don't mind me, I probably won't be talking a lot because we're flying through space or whatever, I don't know. Going back to the past, I think. Very much like episodes of Stargate. Yeah, sure. Totally. So, is this like a whole new teleport, uh, teleportable area? Like, the device is reminiscent of Anthrop. Perhaps it is possible to attune with it. Wow. Despite attempting to channel in, focus your energies, you fail to attune. Ah. Okay. Maybe it doesn't attune like you expect. Maybe this literally is just like a scene. Okay. Yeah. I'm like a ghost here, so I don't expect people to actually react to anything that I'm doing. I mean, if you say so, Frog, I would never know. 
facility is called Propa Propaleon. These people are hella giant. But I guess these are the guys that we found in that one underwater area during the crystal or during the Shadowbringers. But this is them when they were alive. They're fucking huge compared to me. Uh oh, another person over here. I don't know if you're listening to me tomorrow right now, like on my stream, but when did you pop out? I, I, I assume you just, you know, wanted to take a break. He's not going to acknowledge you, dude. I'm a ghost. Anyway, how's it going otherwise? Uh, it's it's going. It's going pretty good. I've just been uh, rocking through the story, Frog. Just uh, one step at a time. We got through some pretty fucked up stuff the first few hours of the stream. Yeah, how do we open the door if we can't touch things? I don't get it. Maybe there's a way. Use your ghost force powers. Or you could just walk right through it. And here we are, Elpis. Well, well. How rare to receive you in person. To what do we owe the honor? Oh, just a few odd tasks. We'll be here a while. You're welcome to stay as long as you see fit, of course. As a matter of procedure, however, I must ask that you kindly remove your masks. Come now. Is this truly necessary? Surely you can tell who we are. Who you are, perhaps. But I am far less infamous. Regardless, if we do not follow protocol, it is our hosts who would be held accountable. So, please. Do favor us with your handsome face. <sighs> um, should I know this face? These faces? Is that Emmett, maybe? Satisfied. I think that's Emmett. I'm not sure about the one with the ponytail, though. I thank you for your cooperation. You are free to go about your business. the by you see it too yes I haven't the foggiest what you're talking about hmm that's odd <laughs> I see your bitch ass it's right here a bit thin in the ether but there's no mistaking it the color of its soul is almost identical to Azem's. Do you suppose he created it? Rather unusual for a familiar to have a soul, though. Don't ask me. All I know is that it's trouble. Doubly so if it's his spitting image. So let's leave it be. Come now. Hmm. It's trying to say something, but it's literally too intangible to form words. 
Why don't you give it some ether? Spare a snifter of your bounteous reserves. Who do you take me for? Why, a dear friend, of course. One who wouldn't let acts of kindness... Sorry about that. ...such as my accompanying him on errands to far-flung... Oh, outposts, did you disconnect? ...go unrewarded? Yeah, I was oh. gone for like 15 minutes. No, I know. I I was like, did she just leave? Like, I thought you just left. I didn't know you... Because I, I literally... I grabbed a snack thing and literally you disappeared I was like, oh did she quit <laughs> did she did she dip out as soon as i fucking grabbed a snack for two seconds <laughs> no my router like, died gotcha it was like perfect timing so i was like what the hell she just popped out i didn't even say anything <laughs> but okay that makes more sense that you disconnected well welcome back then <laughs> thank you frog says hi hello frog how are you today, sir? I suggest you close your eyes, or this may be unpleasant. I'm gonna mute myself while I eat. Sure. What you eating? Salami sandwich. Ooh, and okay. chips. Sounds good. Yeah. You may open your eyes. Oh, I am corporeal now. And taller. What the hell? Oh, you even adjusted its size. The better to indulge your whim. This way, it will be easier to communicate. How very thoughtful of you. And may I applaud your artful reinforcement. Without further ado, then. Greetings. I am Hithlidaeus, chief of the Bureau of the Architect. Hithlidaeus, okay. Sulking beside me is the most honorable Emmet Selk of the Convocation of Fourteen. That I already figured out, Emmet Selk. And how might we address you, my new friend? A fine name. And I'm pleased to see you understand our words. So tell us, whence have you come? The thinness of your essence suggests you weren't created here. You do not know? Or cannot say? Hmm. Allow me to ask a different question then. What brings you here? I seek a man named Hermes. Well now, the same as us. Perhaps Azim wished to come too, but had to settle for a familiar. If he truly wished to be here, then he would be. Right you are. My apologies if we've given offense. The two of us can discern the color of souls, you see. And yours happens to resemble that of a friend. And with your purpose matching our own besides, we jumped to a hasty conclusion. We are here to speak with Hermes, the chief overseer of this facility, which we also intend to tour in order to gain greater insight into the man's work. We, I say, though this is Emmett Selk's charge. I am here only to serve as his guide. And I should be happy to serve as yours as well, by way of an apology for the misunderstanding. Wait, are you suggesting that we bring it along on official business? This thing we know next to nothing about? If you harbor suspicions, better to keep it close than leave it to its own devices. Wouldn't you agree? Besides, having a mysterious life form in tow is the norm rather than the exception here.
Welcome, my friends, to the testing ground of creation at Heaven's Edge, Elpis. Yo, this place looks dope. The world unsundered. This presence. These are adorable little Pokemon looking creatures for sure. Ax axolotls. <laughs> what secrets are you hiding, I wonder? I wonder. Yeah, this place is pretty fucking dope, not gonna lie. Aesthetics are looking pretty sick. This really is the next area. I wonder if I can actually... Oh, I can't even go back in there. Oh, yeah, I can. Never mind. Can I actually... I'm, I'm assuming this is too small of a crystal to attune to, but maybe I'll find one to attune to out here via that... I don't know, that big crystal that's out there that I saw. All right. This is hardly the first time here. Yeah. Okay. All right, questo completo. And I guess let the games begin here, man. a robe. I see. I have to be robed up to belong, I guess. Fine. Make me robe up. As you said, it reminds me of the Ancients of the Stargate series. Well, for all I know, the guys who wrote this game love Stargate. I have no idea. They may have been super inspired by such a story. Who knows? I know nothing. But yeah, this is definitely the next area. Just I was just checking where the Aether Currents are at, and that means this is a new area, which not that I didn't think it wasn't, now that I'm out here. This area is dope AF. Ophion. Weird snake looking dudes. I'm gonna pass on fighting those right now. Okay. Gotta catch some dudes with the rope. Sure. Got never mind him. Oh. We're not fighting the snake, we're fighting the butterfly. Butterfly. Maybe one more here? Use the rope. Catch it. Nailed it. One down. One more butterfly.
Damn it. I couldn't even complete the quest because I didn't have space for the dang shit. All right. All right. Okay, what can I just fucking get rid of that I don't care about? I know I have some freaking, like, like this cactuar needle. Get the fuck out of here. I don't need that shit. Lorikeet down. Fuck out of here. Discard all this shit. Just discard the fishes. I don't care. If I'm gonna fish again someday, it'll happen. I've had all this fish in here because I was like gonna sell it or whatever, or do something with it. I just never have. And it's like, well, if I'm really gonna do fishing and shit, it's gonna get grinded out big time. So just fuck it for now. I'll sell. I'm not gonna throw everything away right now. I was just trying to make space. Skip the scene and get my dang robe. <sighs> and it doesn't help because my armory is full, and that's why it wouldn't go into my shit. Or wait, I got the robe. Do I have to put on the robe? I guess I'll just put it on when, if and when it tells me. I don't feel the need to put it on. Alright, so this is the first bloom. Let me make sure I didn't just pass up the first ether current on this spot. 344 west. Okay, so it's probably over there. Got it. We won't worry about the first ether current yet then. Just hoping for a etherite crystal. So I can it's like I was thinking about teleporting out of here to sell stuff, but I was like, I can't teleport out of here yet. I don't have a teleport back. I wanna get that first, and then I'll leave if I need to for whatever reasons. That's definitely a big etherite right there though. Okay, we're looking for a short, dark-haired man. As in, his hair is short and dark. Not that he's short. Search for Hermes. The God. Uh, do we just have to talk to everybody ourselves? Or we're looking for an exclamation pointed man. I don't know. I'm going to try to tune this freaking crystal before I do anything, if it's possible. They got a mender and a junk monger here. Nice. Hell yeah. A tunage, baby. Fuck yeah. I don't think I need to mend anything that badly right now, but we'll check. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. Oh, Hermes. Donde esta? There he is. He 
He's hanging out with the d adorable axolotls. Duh. You are... Oh! Ah. Different! You're different, too! You and me! We're alike! Friends! I want to be... Wait! Please! Wait! Calm down. Greetings and salutations. Can you hear me? Do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. I wish only to hear your words, share your feelings, and know your thoughts. May we please be friends? You get the hell out of my head. <laughs> May we please be friends? See you found him. It's Ladeus. It's been a while. Too long, I think. Too long indeed for close collaborators. On this blessed occasion, I bring not only myself, but others who long to speak with you. You are of the Convocation. Emmet Selk at your service. Do I have the honor of addressing Hermes, Chief Overseer of Elpis? You do. You have traveled far for it. Given your facility's purpose, its remote location is something of a necessity. Would that I didn't have to rely upon a guard. Oh, you wound me. Have I not ever been an attentive and helpful friend? But moving along to more agreeable company, this one we chance to... Well, you certainly have her attention. Is she one of yours, Hermes? Her name is Meteon. It means shooting star. Hmm. If I may make an observation, her ether is terribly thin. I fear she might dissipate at any moment. Nor do I believe you've made a submission to the Bureau. I would remember such a concept if you had. I haven't, as you say. I judged it too early. She's a pet project of mine, still undergoing preliminary testing. But rest assured that I will attend in person ere long. Very well. Being an authority on flying life forms, I appreciate that you are exacting in your work. I shall look forward to your submission. If we have finished with the perfunctory chit chat, I would discuss official matters. Thank you, Emmett. I was just thinking the same thing. I was like, what the fuck is the point of this conversation right now? <laughs> By my coming, I trust you already anticipate the subject. I have an inkling, yes. Please wait to the main building yonder. I shall join you as soon as I've returned these creatures to their homes. Hermes? The Nemostoma is missing. <gasps> There's one that's missing? No! Hmm. I may have found it. A creature with the self same ether as those there, nestled in the boughs of a tree outside the grounds. You're saying they can climb with their sorry excuses for limbs? 
The fashion has been to imbue aquatic creatures with the power of flight, ever since the words of Mitron created a sky-swimming fish. The Ambistomus, too, can fly, if only slightly, and they could conceivably climb a tree. Whether they can come down safely, however... Excuse me. I'll help. Two. Why is the delay? That was weird. And what are we supposed to do with this lot? <laughs> May I suggest we split up? If you would be so good as to assist Hermes, Emmett Selk and I shall keep an eye on these adorable creations in the meantime. These adorable creations. A duty All right, let's go do that then. A duty A duty I wonder if there's a ether current around. Yeah. So far, no combat. Not since you've been here, frog. Um, definitely had plenty of combat earlier. Things were going down earlier, man. I don't really expect a lot of combat in this area right away. There might be some in a little while, but... We'll see. Right now, we just got to a new area, so I'm kind of expecting, you know, we're getting the lay of the land of how this is laid out. We're meeting people that are new, because we're... This is like us being in the past, so it's super weird, This, the idea that we're even here. Search for the adventurous Ambistoma. Okay, I'm searching. Oh, there he is over there, little bastard. Probably when something happens to cause the downfall of civilization. Uh, basically, we're trying to find like the origin of this Elpis situation because we had this word Elpis had to be like it was like the name of a flower that we were looking into or whatever. So now we're back in the past looking for answers about that plus like how the end of days like came to be kind of I don't know it's hard to just hard to just explain myself without all this shit with all this fucking exposition there's been but yeah Holy moly before I get cracking on this quest some more that's a raid coming in hot, y'all. Holy shit, dude. That's a T-Raid. Oh, yeah. That T-Raid going on a T-Raid, you know what I'm saying? Welcome in, Casualty. Welcome in, Raiders. Hate Crew coming in with that raid. He's still alive? Shout out to Hate Crew, I guess. Oh, and shout lost. out for Casual. You think it's broke? It's definitely broke. I've never seen that happen before. I've never seen them be able to actually attack you still. So many shout outs at once. That was crazy. Anyway, get that. clip that. That's a Dark Souls 3. The peppers where it's like the actual pepper. And like, yeah, they're yeah, like what up, casual? doing How's genetic going, modifications to make these peppers. That That's not so much the issue. It's when they're just and I'm extracting guessing the concentrate from that? the peppers and getting no Which flavor RPG game is that? and just all heat casual. like that's just some anyway casual's playing stranger of paradise punish today my mouth daddy type shit check them out i can't believe i just said punish my mouth daddy <laughs> i mean do you want me to play all the positions is that what somebody I shout outs is that, that was good that was saga frontier okay i still need oh, to play that yeah, game yeah buddy let's fucking go get got that, that clip overwatch we clip what we do what we do here <laughs> Oh, we just killed a bunch of motherfuckers and stopped the point from being capped. Fucking clutch ass play there. Thank you. Attaboy team. <laughs> Why'd you put so much bail on my fucking. Uh, anyway, what class am I playing? I'm playing Reaper right now, Hate Crew. Um, I'm working on Endwalker. How many clips did we do? Did we do three shout outs? Jesus. Oh, I think Dragon shouted you out twice, T. That's why there was three. <laughs> That's hilarious. We got three casual clips all at once. 
But yeah, right now I'm playing Reaper. I can show you my class levels if you want in a minute, hey crew. Just so you can see what all my classes are at. But my highest level class is actually my Dragoon, but it's already level 90. So I stopped using it since, you know, no reason to use it for the story if I'm missing out on the experience. Yeah, Dragon did do the shoutout twice. That's probably because he's a dum dum. I agree. <laughs> you haven't played in a long time. You used to play White Mage? Nice. Uh, when you say long time, when's the last time you played? Like years and years ago? Or like, what was the last expansion you played in, Hate Crew? Probably going to get another cutscene here real quick. Hermes just face planted on the ground and shit. But anyway, thank you for that raid, T. Sorry if I didn't really uh, give you the proper thanks. And thanks, uh, welcome in Raiders, if anybody else is here besides Hate Crew and T. Appreciate the raid. Just playing some 14 today, trying to get through this Endwalker, last expansion still. Um, normally on Sundays we'd be playing with more homies. Uh, right now, I do have Morrow in the chat with me, but she's eating, so she's muted herself at the moment. She'll probably pop back in soon. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's mostly just been me today, just rocking through Endwalker. I'm at level 86 content. It goes up to level 90. I'm working on it. And uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm just trying to catch up to everybody else, because everybody else I play with is already done with this shit. So, yeah. Oh, you think you stopped right before Stormblood? Okay, so it's been a while. Stormblood was pretty good. Shadowbringer was also really good. But yeah. Oh god, Toast has got another joke. Here we go. Hey, Funky, I have another one for you. What is Super Mario's favorite state? Uh. Wow, I feel like I could probably guess if, I, if something hits me. Um... I don't know. What's his favorite state? Just tell me. Just fucking tell me. Luigiana? Oh my god. That is not what I would have guessed. <laughs> Some bitch. <laughs> Stupid one. That's such a dumb one. <laughs> oh my god. I thought it was going to be some kind of play on like you know, let's go or wahoo, you know, some play on like one of the sounds he actually makes. Like what's <laughs> what's Mario's favorite island in Hawaii? Wahoo! <laughs> like see, that one I just made up off the top of my head, but that I would have understood. <laughs> That's really funny. That was a good one. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> also welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Dragon, if you ban anyone for a joke, I'm banning you. How about that? How about that? <laughs> He's just a hater today. Seems to be. <laughs> All right, another questo completo. And a level up, 87 Reaper. You yeah, good? Yeah. All right, little bitch. <laughs> oh, look, I'm it's not, Dragon. <laughs> there he is. Your fucking ass just don't know how to listen. <laughs> so get that shit right. What are, what are we doing? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm confused. <laughs> she keeps saying I'm not going to play Elden Ring and now I'm missing out, blah, blah, blah. And I never said I wasn't going to play the fucking game. Oh. Did he not? I don't know. Did he? I don't remember him saying that. Oh my gosh. I really don't. You said that so many fucking, fucking times. Yes, no, you did. I, didn't. I yes, never, not did. once, fucking said I would not play the game. Okay. You don't know how to listen. I said I'm not hyped for the game. He got all butt hurt. <laughs> I had to jump in here and shit. <laughs> 
because he keeps saying the same shit for the last two days and it's been annoying. Even after I specifically tell you this is not something I've said. You're just okay. wrong. Uh-huh. As usual, by the way. Right. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> All right, children, calm down. Hey, I'm not butthurt. He's the one that's butthurt. <laughs> that's fine. I'm just saying. Keep, let's keep, it, I, keep it civil. I think that was the last one I can learn out in the open world. I just learned Choco Meteor. Let's go. Nice. Um, oh, how many, uh, how many uh, blue mage spells are you up to now? Uh, 51. Damn. So I'm a, a little bit less than halfway because there's 104. Yeah. But I think, what, you were only like 30 something last night, so you've done quite a few. Yeah. Well, we did some together last night, too, to we be did, fair. We did do a few, yeah. That's true. I mean, you almost caught up to me. How many years? I just don't do the carnival stuff, yeah. Carnival stuff is kind of fun. Can you do that in a party? Nope. Oh, it's a solo thing? Yep. Uh, Bummer. It's a you need to think and have the right skills kind of thing. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, sounds like it could be fun. Hey, Mara. What's up? Hell's Curie Extreme. Let's go. Hell's what extreme? Hell's Cure. Invite me to party, bitch. Oh, that's a fucking sink one. Fuck that. Let's gonna do that shit unsync. What else is on the party finder? This appears to be the place. And here is where we part ways. We will be discussing highly sensitive affairs. Only a select what up, bro? privy to such knowledge. And that does not include someone who cannot or will not divulge their origins. Okay, now Toast has got another one. More topical to Final Fantasy. Lay it on us, Toast. I should just not what? reach out to that. Do I have to remove you by force? <laughs> what do you call an elf wearing earmuffs? I don't know. What do you call them? Anything you like. He can't hear you. You know, that works for way too many jokes. I don't. I find that one not as funny. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I've heard that joke in many forms with many topics. It's the same thing. Yes, I'm sure your business with Hermes is quite pressing. You may speak with him to your heart's content after ours is I hate complete. you right now, Carl. <laughs> See, at least... That one's more of a pun joke. That hit joke, although Frog has used the low elf esteem, esteem thing a lot of times. I've heard that one from him specifically many times. <laughs> I do not object to his attendance. Why do I have some Hermes? things locked this to me? Is there a new raid? Wait, Perhaps. is there a new raid? But I believe he can be trusted. Meteon would not have taken to him so quickly otherwise. Do, 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 do. So how do you learn mimicry? The presence of a third party may help me you to find a mine and then you ask it really nicely to teach you and then you have to learn how to read you know lips because it can't actually, actually speak and eventually after all that you just might learn it it's only like a point zero 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 one percent chance so well, funky how how is your quest going <laughs> It's going. You're such an asshole, dragon. 
<laughs> so, it's finally happened then. Uh. Hi, Van Daniels wait, declared why? his intention to step down and named you hmm. as his preferred successor. What did the elf say when a goblin stole his Legos? I don't know. Something about Legolas. I knew it. Now I'm Legolas. Wow. I knew it. Got it. Close enough. <laughs> I in jail, prog. In recognition of your knowledge and your works. The convocation is. Oh, uh, I think I know what these are. As one who does yeah, I don't have these unlocked yet. I am to use my. You need to unlock these. To take your measure. And above Fuck. all else, to ascertain your disposition towards the invitation. So annoying. I understand that you and Fan Daniel are close. He himself was once chief overseer of Elpis, after all. Our I should not be surprised map. if you knew before anyone else oh. that he wished to relinquish okay. his office. It's on the uh, party finder. He told me that when he fulfilled his purpose, he wished to pass the torch to me. A torch mm. you seem none too pleased to accept. Are you so averse to serving on the convocation? <laughs> no, it's not that. For a humble researcher like yeah, myself, one more spot. considered it. Is an honor beyond words. No. What troubles me? Where is it at? What I struggle to come to terms fine? with. Well, I see that, but. That Van Daniel is stepping down. Treasure map. Treasure hunt. Doesn't mean that he will return to the start. How do you join? Yeah, it's quick. Oh, oh join party. Yes, like so many others have before him. What do I go as? Return to the start. Anything your heart desires, as long as it's level 90. Die. Well, now, that's not a word I hear often. Is that what you say here in Elpis? Mankind is the life of a Theris. Each of us, a drop of blood flowing through its veins, bearing sustenance. In our finite time upon it, it is our duty to make it a better place. That all who call it home, now and in future, may abide in happiness. To that end... And we're doing we Zoom Burn Skin Maps, or however that's said. And by our efforts, did we have to go buy one? this once untamed yes. wilderness into the peaceful paradise you enjoy today. To return to one? the star whence we came is a privilege afforded to we who have so loved and nurtured it. A choice embraced by those What is it called again? Can you link it? To the fullest, in service to our world. And when they depart upon this I do earth, not know how to spell that. It is beautiful. Always. I don't know how to spell it either. <laughs> the 14 are no exception. Tis believed no Didn't you say you have is more felicitous Hold than on. the fulfillment of one's duty. Our office becomes our lives, and to retire is to return, or so the majority of us hold. Some few have oh, elected to share custom. Mayhap you feel Fan Daniel's um. deeds do not warrant his return. Yet you should know his accomplishments as well as any. That's... During his time, he conceived of countless outstanding concepts. And channeling the wealth of experience he attained here in Elpis, he I'm buying another one right now. New specimens. <laughs> and I bought I the wrong this. fucking shit. I do. Fucking hell. It's just, I cannot fathom why someone so great and wise, who could still do so much good, would want to end it all. It's time Warren. Oh no. Do -do. I've made her upset. Forgive me. I know I requested your presence. Might I trouble you to take me to your outside? Um Bira skin map? Would do her good. Link. 
There you go. Yeah, okay, that's what I said. Oh, they're super cheap. Yeah, they are. Okay, let's take the little girl outside, I guess. Mine's annoying to find. What's the difference between a male brownie and a female brownie? Nobody male cares because they're brownies. Male brownies have nuts. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying two. Yep. You can get up three. Really? Yeah, you can where put one you... in your chocobo saddle. Well, where do you put the other two? One in your inventory, one that you've used, and one in your chocobo oh, saddle. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Decipher that shit. Looks like I'm the healer. Cool. There were two other sages? No, they're not. I just checked like two seconds ago and there was two sages, two I'm paladins. Here. I'm here with the party. No, there's not. Mm, okay. And we're right. waiting on you. Okay. Where's Ultima Thule? Just uh, click the link and let's go. <laughs> We're at the twelve thirteen one, not the twenty nine nine. Oh, I love the music here, Jesus. Agreed. So sad. <laughs> Are y'all above me or below me? What the fuck? Below you. Aw oh, man, how do I get here? <laughs> Do I have to go through the door? Uh, Lana. no. You know what? Fuck it. Hold on. Wherever this is, the GDP must literally be quadrillions for them to have built all this. I mean... Are you trying to say that this place is an all-natural nice toast? Is that what you're trying to say right now? But also, this place is like, I'm pretty sure we're like hell of thousands of years in the past. So, maybe not hell of thousands, but definitely the past. It's something like 8,000 years in the past or some shit. Yeah, I can't really, I don't really remember them saying the exact number. But I'm sure it's they, in a diary that you can read at some point. Yeah, I'm sure they've alluded to it or they have can allude to it or will. It's something I haven't looked at or read. I know it's not in a cutscene. <laughs> well, how would you know? You didn't watch any of them. I know it's not in a cutscene. Because <laughs> somebody would have said that shit before. I suppose that's true. Yeah, if you go to the library. There's a book there that says how long ago that was. Got it. I do remember Zeal from Chrono Trigger Frog. What about it? Are you trying to say this place is like Zeal? Mara, read your compass. <laughs> what? Uh, what? They want you to link your shit in chat. Oh. How do I do that? Well, you got to find it first and you link the stuff in the. Oh, thing. shit. Hey, cutscene. Oh, this is cool. Ooh, high fast music. This is Rainbow Road. <laughs> right. 
Are you, where are you guys at? We're doing a Endwalker map. Are you in an area that I haven't been? Yes. Yep. Uh, okay. I haven't even been here. <laughs> oh. oh, dang. Well, alrighty then. Yep, you can only do this once you're at level 90. Fair enough. I mean, I am level 90, but I can't get there till I get to the story level 90. That's what I mean. <laughs> <gasps> Actual levels don't matter. We know this. <gasps> How dare you. Morrow, that, that guitar rift. I know. What the hell? That somebody's a healer. Jeez. We get to pick a door? They're picking a door. He was just in a cutscene. Hey. Nice. I like that you can keep up with my mount. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Catch up, Metion. Catch up. Hey, it's a gold dude. Kill him. Rainbow, Rainbow. Gold. Pretty sure he gives extra stuff. Oh wow, this dude died. over here for skip the cutscene oh see if you're in there you get the cutscene ah uh. oh well oh boy now this place is starting to fill up ejected side quest Animals have rabies. Ay, ay, ay. That's why we gotta murder all of them. So, Mara, where's your map? Let me take a picture of it and send it to you. What zone is it? Ultima Thule, here. Okay. Oh, 
14 tragedy at all this map unlocked either. Oops. Like uncovered. <laughs> Is that yours? Oh, thank you. Numas. Okay. Weird. What am I supposed to hit? Why aren't you hitting yourself? Stop hitting yourself. Okay. Prism. Oh, I see. I'm just supposed to use it on those spots. I got it. I guess we're going to yours next. That makes more sense. Is that the closest one? I think so. Uh, we had two people link for the same spot earlier, though. Hmm. Uh. Dig that shit. Are we ever going to get together for a hoedown in some summer, Frog? Um, I don't know about a hoedown, but yeah, someday. We'll make it happen. I mean, we can hose some downs for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Somebody's one is almost complete. Why? Because you're doing stuff with homies? Chocobo thing, though. Oh. Do you not have your Chocobo summoned? It's summoned, but we haven't killed nearly a hundred enemies. Hey, it's a portal. Ooh. I'm just Excite. Sure Hi, Matt. Ooh. I'm a roll on it. 61 south. Oh, shit. There is one here. I knew it. I knew it. 
Aw. Who got it? Lunira? so cute <laughs> I like how we spawn wings to do that too right amazing is it not the ampelos one of our newest subjects oh boy what up toast what did the bra say to the hat uh I don't know Go on ahead. I'll give these two a lift. Nice. That's exactly what lift the bra. and separate. <laughs> so, how are we coming along? I mean, some might push together instead of separate. You know that's a bra commercial from like nineties, right? The, the lift and separate thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've heard the saying, so that sounded familiar. <laughs> Hell, it might be an 80s commercial. Frog will let you know. It's really fucking old. What did that commercial play, Frog? <laughs> Alright, Mara. Pick a door. Okay. Any door. Like me. After you collect the treasure. Oh. <laughs> Shut up! It's been a while. They are a product of Elpis, and so named for their birthplace. A happy accident, born of the hands of a former researcher who loved beautiful blossoms. Unique for how they change color, to reflect the emotional state. Yay! Of the I chose right. <laughs> Though be it here or elsewhere. They are seldom seen in any hue save purest white. Reflect the emotional state, you say? By what means do they achieve this? In creation, there exists an energy wholly apart from ether, one driven by emotions. In like manner to how we manipulate ether, this flower is subject to the influence of said energy. Well, it has no will of its own, it is sensitive to the prevailing emotion in the vicinity and reacts by altering its color and vibrancy. Akasha? Akasha? It is one of the unseen energies defined by Hanish alchemical theory. Though a gross oversimplification, some describe it as an essence influenced by feeling. Though I'm not familiar with the term, your description suggests Aqua it is the same same flaming force. Dynamis, we call it. Whammies are whammies. And those entities like the Elpis flower that have the ability <laughs> to interact with this energy, converting emotions into our antelekis. But we still might get lucky. No. That you are, my dear, and no ordinary one at that, but the first possessed of free will. It's interesting they call these things entelechies. It reminds me of Vesper uh, Tales of Vesperia. It's the big creatures in that are called entelechia. Spelled similarly, but it has X-I at, X at the end, I think. Such a big name. I know. Wait. Don't forget the cipher and look at the next one. Dynamis? Yeah. I've never heard of such a thing. Hardly surprising. Dynamis cannot be seen, much less felt. <laughs> and though its existence nice. has long been theorized, we had no proof until the flower's serendipitous creation. What's more, oh, where are we going? Dynamis is far weaker than ether. 
Under normal circumstances, it's effective. Blood for the RNG. <laughs> Smart. On account of which, beings That's comprised funny. of and reliant upon the ether, like you and I, are unable to make practical use of dynamis. Okay. It is a truly esoteric thing, known to but a select few scholars. Intriguing. And then, given the limitations, I forgot what mine was, but I do this. Is that my new one to you? I wonder which Outside, flag this is. Etheris is especially Probably yours. Rich ether, so much so that its name is derived from it. Let me try to However, find mine again. We consider all energy in existence here and in uh, the vast space beyond. Mine is like great. Dynamis may account for as much as 68.3%, the more abundant form by far. Were we able to control it, we could open the door to uh. limitless possibilities. What zone is yours in? Mare Lamentorum. It is okay. not unlike a gently flowing stream, unable to break through the dam of ether barring its path. But if we could imbue the stream with the vigor of a raging river. You're wondering how many people are totally bored by this guy, uh, Frog? Like this Hermes guy that's talking right now? He's, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Not that I have such grand ambitions. Nay, I merely wish oh, to a the could traverse the great expanse. The relative scarcity of ether beyond the bounds of this star was a concern. And so, I looked to another source of energy by necessity. That being Dynamis. No wonder her ether is so thin. Precisely. Okay, I got your next location. Yours is thin too. Like an entelechy. Like me. We. So. Are we the same? Entelechies. If I'm thin, it's because Emmett Selk didn't do a proper job, so blame him. <laughs> hey, it's another portal. That sounds more akin to the desperate flailings of a wild beast when facing imminent death. The deficit of ether alone does not an Entelechi make. It would, however, make it easier for you to interact with Dynamis. And limited though its influence may be, this quality could prove the difference between this victory and leads to Yoshi's house. Okay. You do well not to underestimate it. I wish these had like, oh dear. you know, I'd forgotten about dancing the shit or, you, you know, follow the leader or some shit. Instead of just fight enemies. Little puzzle shit. That'd be fine too. Yeah. Oh, kill the shits in order. Questo. Kill the exciting too. onion. Kill the exciting onion. And then kill exciting the exciting egg. egg. And the garlic. And setting tomato. And setting yeah. queen. Nice. I wonder what they drop if you kill them in order. More loot. That hasn't changed from all the previous ones. That last one should have dropped a bag somewhere. Unless someone got it. Yeah, someone got it already. 
You got 37 Earth Clusters. Go check on the Charybdis. And we got 3k gil off of it. Serpent thing. He did break the streak. What? Lost on the first one. Nerds. Oh, what a bitch. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Just felt like bothering y'all. Well, welcome. And you are a bother. <laughs> Congratulations. What are you doing? Does, does Mara want to say something? <laughs> I is should hey at the mouth. Oh. Speak so quietly. Well, you're loud. So. Uh, I'm not doing much <laughs> right now. Okay. I, I was asking my neighbor if he wanted to hang, but he, he's busy with IRL <laughs> shit, so. Well, all righty then. barbecue by yourself uh well it's funny you say that i did just eat a burger i didn't barbecue it though i, I just cooked it on a skillet damn it should have barbecued it shoulda coulda woulda what do y'all do plan like it's that better than what i had today what did you eat a pizza uh yeah that's that's way worse because you had carbs Exactly. I just ate beef, basically. I've gotten to where I have pizza twice a week, and then it's pretty much just meat from there. Sausage, you know, steak. Yeah. I don't have steak. I'll, I'll probably get some later. Like, if I'm pretty sure I already told you guys I'm on the keto diet, so very little carbs for FML. Which is sad because I, because I, I like test, I like tasty carbs. They just, they fill me with happiness, you know. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. that's true for everybody. Yep. <clears throat> but on the bright side, I can, eat, I can basically have as much cheese as I want, and I fucking love cheese. So, there's that. You can still be a little fatty on cheese. You're a fatty. <laughs> I know I'm a fatty. Sorry, that was that was kind of an ins instinct insult. I didn't mean to call you out. I mean, he started it. It's okay. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> he always starts it. You should have seen him in the chat today. The first 30 minutes, he was like, man, fuck these politic things. Man, fucking white privilege. Blah, blah, blah. I was just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry my computer crashed earlier. I, I, need to, I need to find out why exactly that happens. Just randomly crashed or did something happen? Uh, so like the screen froze because I was in a browser. I, I was looking up something and then like I couldn't move my mouse and I'm like, uh oh. And so I tried to like click out of the application or anything like that. You know, control, delete, you know, task manager. That wouldn't react either. So I'm like, no, nope, yep, computer's crashing. And then I said farewell. And then obviously it ended the stream. Good timing. So. So Dragon's like, yeah, fuck FML. I'm going to play FF14 then. That's not what I did. That's pretty much what you did, though. That's not what I did. Yeah, well, you, you didn't want to talk anymore, so. Your shit crashed, and we've been going for almost two hours. Well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Sorry, I did it there, and I got the whole thing recorded. Chase was just like, oh, what are you going to do now? And I'm like, I guess I'm watching Gone Zero then. So I loaded up the, the film on Netflix, and I watched it. I thought it was pretty decent. Story was kind of confusing to me, though. But I liked the uh, action of it. I haven't seen and that apparently, one. Like that, apparently, that Funky movie. says there's like actually like an anime TV series. Yeah, there's an and anime. I like, I've you know, never heard of it. I, I just watched the CGI film that's on Netflix. That's it. Yeah, the anime is pretty interesting. Maybe I'll check it out. I don't know. 
<clears throat> I should probably put my end tables together. Probably. Probably. How else are you going to have somewhere to set down your beer when you're sitting down? Uh, I'll be honest. I usually, like, I don't even really use my living room. <laughs> now that my, like, whole, like, setup is basically in my second bedroom here. Like, I got my computer, you know, all the stuff, you know, required for it. And then I got my PS4 hooked up to a TV, like, literally, like, five feet from my desk. And since my PS4 is also, like, my media box, basically, you know, to use shit like, you know, Netflix, Funimation, etc. Mm -hmm. Like, like there's really no use for the other TV. I don't have cable, because it's fucking worthless. So, it just kind of sits there. Well, alrighty then. I mean, I gotta get rid of my cable. You should, because it's worthless. No, 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 you are not just lazy. This nonsense on me. Well, you are pretty lazy. Does that requires me to call up Spectrum and be like, hey, cancel this service. Oh, your entire service? No, 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 no. I want my internet. <laughs> I mean, naturally. Please teach her to fly. Or else Hermes will transform. Aro, how's, how's Olden Ring? Did you rage quit yet? No, oh, no, I didn't rage quit. I just wanted to play something else. Now, now, there's mm. no need to go quite that far. Did you ever beat that boss? Yeah. I'm sure he would agree. I did. You, cla oh, you, you clapped. The, How many hours did you been clapped today? Is that, is that what you're saying, Marl? Um, not a lot of hours. It was like maybe 10 tries altogether. Uh, who, who was it from Funky's chat? That he said he spent like 180 hours on Elden Ring or some nonsense. That's Dandy. Dandy's oh been playing that Dude, game a lot. Like, well, he's been trying to like do everything in the game too, not just like beat I, it. I think he might have to like see a therapist for his addiction. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, that's that's pretty crazy. I mean, some people get obsessed right. with certain games. Yeah, that's really all you can say about Dandy, it. Dandy, Dandy, uh, 100% games anyway. Oh yeah, he's got he's one of those people that platinum stuff too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, to it's like 50 platinums or some shit like I that. I think it's even more than that, but yeah, it's a lot. I mean, to an extent, like, I, I get that, but I don't know. Ain't never gonna be me. I used to um, be that way I until mean, I had more games than I had time for. I mean, I'm not <laughs> fighting every game on PS4. That's nonsense. Especially if, uh, I don't know why they do it, but they have, like, you can't get the plat unless you do something that's only online, like, compliant you know mm -hmm. so it's like well obviously that's off the fucking table then or or in or in the case of say the witcher 3 like uh to do like the, all the gwent shit is like a hundred hours of work or some nonsense and i'm just like fuck that shit i don't even like gwent so yeah there's just some cards that you have to like hope that people give you that so you can finish all the collections that's all it is it's, really it's, 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 it's bitch work i don't like bitch work in video games why you do it in real life? Yeah, but at least I get cash money for it. Well, <laughs> you can get cash money in real, in real life too for show. games. Shut up. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like playing Ghost of Tsushima. Do it. I, I mean, feel like playing I... Final Fantasy too. I mean, if, I mean, if my it. neighbor is Just like, FYI, doing... I'm only going to be playing for like another hour or less because I got to go. You were wondering why Emmett Selk joined the convocation. Oh, do you IRL shit? Yeah, my, it's my grandma's birthday today. So oh, to that's fucking sick, bro. We are going out to dinner. It's yeah. not tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to go today. Nice. Going to go to, I don't know, Italian place or something for cool. My vision um, is exceptional. Going to a place I actually haven't I been. I'm not, I'm assuming they just have like aspects. normal, you know, even. American style food steak burger type place. Okay. Yeah. Is that what she wants to do? Yeah. It's a place over in Stockton. I got to drive over there. So how, how old your grandma then? She is 85. Damn, son. Quite a I think that's what she said the other day. Somebody asked her and she said it. I was like, wow, she just answered Could it. She didn't fucking beat around the bush. So. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, uh, you assholes need to get the new Kirby game. It's the fucking tits. I mean, just saying that right now. It is a Kirby game. game. If one cannot act to address it. <laughs> I mean, Dragon don't want to don't want to because and he's just an asshole no and he hates Kirby for he some reason. In vision and manipulation I'm just not getting that capture card to an extraordinary degree. 
getting that what? Capture card. If there is a mage more powerful, I do not You mean a Nintendo Switch? I already have a Nintendo Switch, bitch. Yeah, well, why does. do you need a capture card to play a game? Thus, he I just wants you to play it, Dragon. That's all state. he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying, oh, you need to stream it for your audience. I don't give a fuck about if you stream it. Play it, because it's good. It's, it's, it's good. You know? The only reason I got a Switch is to play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. <laughs> did, did it disappoint you? No. Claimed he hadn't done oh, was it was it that game that people didn't like, or is that X I'm thinking of on the Wii U? It was X, but also yeah. X okay. doesn't have as big of an audience because the Wii U didn't sell anyway. So right. it, I feel it like they're gonna port X to the Switch eventually. But now they've already announced Xenoblade Three, so that's coming first. Yeah. I, Personally, yeah, I, I liked X. Oh, it I just wasn't what people wanted in Xenoblade. Well, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't hate X either. The fucking world is awesome. It's like one of the best world like design, like how it looks, I've ever seen. And but I'm still mad that story. Funky missed out on some of the story points because he Man. didn't do all the grinding he needed for the end game shit. Well, the story, the story just wasn't that good, man. You see, Funky has spoken. It was if it says the story isn't good, then God damn it, the it story just, must be shit. It, it leaves you hanging too much, and I know you're saying there's more shit if I do the grinding, but still, I don't... Yeah, it, it ties a lot of things together that you don't think should be tied that's, together. That's too many things. That's too much work just to see that, though. I agree, but it's there. It really is. That's too much work. It should be part of the story, not part of the, oh, here, you gotta do all this just to see that shit. Ah, oh, this gaming chair is so awesome. His antics <laughs> irritate Emmett Selk to no end. What but brand is it? Much of his grumbling stems from uh, GT player. When okay. our friend calls, he never fails to. I'm gonna be real with you. I've never found a gaming chair that was comfortable. Um, is it because they don't make one that suits your height? And in the course exactly. of doing so, well, there you go. They're designed for people that are short. Yep, like around. me. That's that's the end of the joke, right? They are truly okay. remarkable individuals. Hey, while we're all here, I'm, I'm just curious. When friends. are we gonna do another like four player thing other than what you're playing right now? When I finish Endwalker. God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> what? I'm like, I'm past halfway on it. It's never past halfway with an MMO. No, 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 no. I'm serious. No, when I'm he's done with it. Legit past halfway. I'm seriously when I'm done with this Endwalker uh, storyline, which again I'm past halfway on. I seriously will stop playing this regularly on Sunday. We'll still do stuff, you know, occasionally, but it won't be every Sunday. Yeah, it's when we can get everybody together to do like uh, raids and shit. Exactly. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I fully want to move on and do other things on Sunday again. Back to you know other multiplayer stuff with you guys. I would. I'd rather start it now, but I don't want to leave this behind and then we want to come back to it. and I'm still not done, so I want to finish this first. I mean, it greatly helps in the in the process that we all work for shift currently now. So, I mean, I guess that you know, helps. We do it on Sundays anyway. Day, but... And I'm not working Saturdays <laughs> anymore. Thank. Oh, that's fuck. right. You guys have don't do the weekends anymore, though, right? Nope. So that's good. And when they have fulfilled their respective purposes. Hey, FML. Next Saturday. So too shall Could I be. have fulfilled mine. Okay. And together we may return to the star. That's fine. I'm thinking like 3 p.m. start time. Look at me, spilling my innermost yeah, secrets. Yeah, uh, well, uh, like, I'm not going anywhere, you. but I believe my sister and I mom are visiting me next week. Your soul. Weekend. I, just don't I think they said next Sunday, though, so, so it argue, might not matter at all. So different. But, yeah, Code Vein would be nice. <laughs> Waifu Souls well is, a, is a good game, so. Well done. I don't think I've touched that game in a whole two months now. How dare you? Yeah, wrong? it's been a bit. Fuck's wrong with me. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, uh, this I has nothing to do with anything, but uh, Dragon and Old School, they actually added a new runecrafting minigame. It's not bad. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, you have to do a, you have to do a quest to actually unlock the minigame, but it's like really novice quest, so like it's not, it ain't really. Oh, it's actually fun. It. That's the question. Uh, is it actually fun? Mm. 
It's way funner than, say, doing lava runes for XP. I would say that. Um, Don't really care about that. You know what it's like to do the abyss rune crafting? Yeah. Think, think kind of like that, but like with extra steps. Uh, what? <laughs> You'd have to just check out oh, the mini game to, to understand. I was like, what am I doing? I have to wait. That just makes me not want to check it out at all. Okay, then don't. Fuck off. All right, bitch. All right, bitch. Waving it, Emmett. Hi, Emmett. Uh, uh, who? Which, which one of us is missing that golf game? Golf with friends? Yeah. I don't own that game. Okay. Then that answers your question. <laughs> I just curious. Oh, I could... Go buy the game. Yeah. I was about to insinuate that. If you had got it for free off of Epic Games, you would have it. Well, it I, didn't interest me. I didn't even get that <laughs> off of. I didn't even get that from Epic Games. I don't even know when. What? When was it free? What was it? A humble uh, bundle that you got it from it. originally? I got it from humble bundle originally, but I, I, I just got it bought it on Steam because it was like four or five dollars, and I noticed that um, uh, I think it was Dragon Allegory owned the game, so I was like, sure, why not? I think I had it too. It's just who gives a fuck. Uh, but yeah, that one would be fun because we all just like go crazy hitting a golf ball around. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's like so. It's like a it's like a miniature golf game essentially, right? Well, it might not be golf balls. Well, whatever. You know what well, I mean. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what do you hit eyeballs in the game for golf? Golf balls or, or what? Uh, you can do cylinders. There's probably a lot of options. It's probably stars. Yeah. Yay. Squares. The point is, it could be fun. We need to go back to Human Fall Flat too. By the way, that's a hell of fun game. We did have a lot of fun. How with we that. finished all of that? Nah. Well, uh, to my think... knowledge, we did not fish any every stage. But like some stages, like we didn't do certain objectives. I guess. I know for sure we didn't do every single stage, but I think we were yeah. close. And I'm pretty sure they, uh, well, they as in like either the developers or like users, they actually can yeah. add like more levels on or whatever. There's like through users. those. There's shop. definitely user content for sure. So mm -hmm. that's pretty dope. We did have a lot of fun playing that though. It was a good time. Get golf with your friends. Morrow hates me on that game, though. What? On the f human okay. fall flat? Yeah. Why? Just because you pushed her over a cliff? <laughs> uh, I... A little bit more than just that. Because I did that, too. It was fun <laughs> as fuck. I don't remember. I, I remember, like, Dragon grabbed, like, your right hand, I grabbed your left hand, and then we decided to just commit suicide <laughs> together. It was magical. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Fun. That's why the game's so much fun. Though. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, new official Terraria Wiki launch launches today. That's pretty dope. Northwest. Oh, is it that, actually that's up your there? Hint. It's over there. Lame. That's everybody's hint to to play Terraria with me. <sighs> but I know you all. We should do Terraria. Like even just three hours, I'd be satisfied. Because that could, way, we could do everyone Terraria can on a Sunday. We can do that. Terraria. And everyone can determine if it's shit or not. And I was like, okay, I'll just leave Terraria, you know, his greatness to myself. Then I can already tell that Terraria is not a shit game. I just know that I don't want to play it. Would you at least do it on a <laughs> so Sunday a, one time? So you're a fuck. I would do a Sunday with it. That's Dragon, all I'm telling you. That's all I'm offering. Dragon. Dragon. Let me put it to you this way. Could you ever have a worse time than playing Stardew Valley? No. <laughs> okay, then fuck it. <laughs> grow, a, grow a fucking pear and then just deal with it. <laughs> this is FML telling me to grow a pear. What the yep. fuck? It's yep. alternate reality shit right now. Right? Yep. <laughs> I, I got a full man beard right now too, guys, since what? we're going into like this alternate universe. How dare you? You know, got that man beard. 
look like fucking Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger, and I'm actually <laughs> successful for once. You're you know? successful? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. Wait, wait. I know. Yeah, that happen? He's, he's actually got some success going. Oh my god. Hey, we got a portal. The fuck is this game? Airscape? I rolled garbage on that mask. I don't know how I got that game. Maro, you got the mask. I did. I want it. I want it. <laughs> He wants it. He wants it really what did bad. you roll? A 14. He wants it really bad. Like, if you just gonna sell it, give it to me. If you're gonna use it, just use it. Uh, Funky, what? Is it like glamour? Yes, it's a glamour. What's like the hottest month in Southern California? April Probably. through September. <laughs> So like all those months you just mentioned. The hottest is usually like July or August. Mm. July. You guys laugh. I was serious. <laughs> I mean, it does start getting like really hot in like I mean, I, I would say I'm May sure, is probably when it starts getting ooh. truly hot. I'm sure Maro has some first-hand experience about the sweltering heat of Cali. Drew agrees, July. See, that, that was pretty much what I was thinking, Drew. Like, July through or August, depending on the year, basically. Also, hi, Drew. Welcome in, oh, sir. Oh, hey, Drew. <laughs> I pumped some iron today this morning, Drew. You'd be proud of me. Instead of instead of 40 pounds on the bar, or I'm sorry, let me take that back. Instead of 30 pounds on the bar, I did 40 pounds. Maybe Whoa. you should have been shopping. Like, oh, my God. I'm thought. slightly stronger. Slightly. Yeah, Thanks slightly. for shouting, Drew. I out. mean, that's how it works you gotta live? do a little bit every time yeah is it they live or they live? he gets slightly stronger every time he gets they live actually <laughs> they lie they lie yep. <laughs> they lie in progressive the game they live what, what do you mean they live they live what a name just, I, mean, you, I, I mean i ought to i paid fucking up, 260 they, for a year membership so that was a worthy clip to think that that movie's called they live <laughs> Instead of they, they live. live. <laughs> they live. That's pretty funny. You're a beast now, FML. I would not say that. Because usually... <laughs> He's so weak as fuck. Usually the other, like the other guys, like they'll leave their weights on the bar, right? Uh, I, I easily he see... You have to take it off. Of, yeah, I have to take it off. Because I know it would fucking crush my neck in half. Wait, so, how much did you say you were doing? Uh, okay, so <laughs> I like, wasn't I know really the, listening to the numbers. So the bench press bar, I don't know how much that actually weighs by itself, but what I do is I add 40 pounds. Or 50 it would, yeah, it's got to be around 40 something usually, yeah. Okay. It might so, be 35 or 25, depending I, on if it's a small what bar. bar it is, but but most, if it's a, yeah. if it's a um, Olympic bar, it's going to be 55. I have, 55? I have no idea. Yeah, I just, bars are 55. Okay. I just, I, I don't determine that because I can't tell just by looking at the bar. So I just say 40 pounds that's, because that's what I put on it. That's probably at least approximate what it is. But you put 40 pounds on top of it? Uh, Yeah, like the bar plus, plus like 40 20 pounds. on each side. Plus 40. Yeah. Okay, so you're doing at least approximately 80, probably more. Yeah, still pretty weak. <laughs> Drew's like, damn, just walking up, taking those weights off. Like, I can't lift this. <laughs> <laughs> it is an Olympic bar if it's between 45 and 55 pounds. Huh. Yeah, see, Drew and I both know. I mean, <laughs> Drew is a fucking beast. I just know so. the one that was in the gym that, like, when I was at uh, college was 45. I'm pretty Tempest. sure. What the fuck? Someone got the wrong kind of mat. I think, um, like for the barbell work, I think, uh, what do you call that? Uh, an arm row. I think I could maybe up the weight of that barbell next time. Because I was using 25 pounds. Mm -hmm. I think I might be able to do 30. Like just and then 25, 20, 25 pounds. 25 reps on each set. Are you doing uh, curls on, on each it, side. What are you doing? Ah, oh, shit. I have to do, I ought to do curls. Are you doing all the things? just doing like <sighs> triceps with them or what <laughs> well like the, the thing is i still don't really know what i'm doing oh, okay. so he's like i'm, I'm just, just putting like, 30 hey. pounds and lifting it and going i can lift that all right next <laughs> I, i'm just like hey what muscle groups do i need to develop to get that v taper look uh -huh. and i'm like okay you got your uh, delt, did i you ever link yours 
Uh, Drew said his max no. for benching last year was 425. God damn. Tight, but now his God shoulder's damn, all son. fucked up. Yeah. That's I mean, still pretty that's, impressive. That's way more than I ever even bothered to huh. think about trying. Fuck huh. that. <laughs> you can't Damn, I need to work so on much, my bench. It's so much effort to even think about 425 <laughs> pounds, isn't it? I Yeah, nope. My max last year was 385. Bitch. I do curl, but FML, you know, benches, so. <laughs> well, that. that's fan-fucking-tastic. <laughs> Holy shit. But yeah, um, I mean, if anything, it's just a good time waster, you know. Gets me out of these, gets me out of these walls for like an hour or so. I mean, I just wish I time dedicated waster. myself to going to the gym three or four times a week. I only do it once a week. I, I, I like to try to go minimum three times. I'm mostly trying to maintain, so one time a week is not that bad. Yeah, I, I can't maintain. I, I, just, look like, I look like shit. You saw me in the stream today. <laughs> well, you don't need to maintain. You need to bulk. I know. You're, um, you're a scrawny little fuck. And so I, I can't. <laughs> I need to lose weight. So if I was to actually go three times a week, I would actually gain weight on top of that. And it's just like, do I, how do I calculate how much I'm losing if I'm gaining muscle, you know? Yeah, I gotcha. Um. For this like keto thing, the main thing I just want to do, like I don't really care about actual pounds, like total I lose. I want to cut out my my fat percentage because it's not healthy to have a quarter of your weight in fat. So, you know, yeah. You do push exercises and pull exercises the same days, and then do opposites the next. Uh. I just kind of do it all in one day and spend about an hour and a half doing them all. Then I feel like shit the next day and then I do it again next week. Yeah, I actually have a question, Drew. So like um, the, the little research that I've done about like actually bulking up, is it is it better to do like like four uh, sets of like X reps of a machine to gain muscle or is it better to like like lower the weight of that and just do more reps for that same activity like you know what i mean if you want bulk you want less reps and more weight if okay. you want strength you want more reps okay hmm. so it's important to do both i was about to say because but if you just just for what you want right now you want the most you can do with the least amount of reps now, having said that, the maximum reps you probably want to do is around eight. You don't really okay. want to do anything more like that. Uh, so, like for the say, say the chest press, for example, um, today I can do fifty-five pounds on it, and I do three sets of ten reps. So, by your understanding, I should really up it up to say like I don't know eighty pounds and just do say eight reps per set, right? Five to eight, yeah. Okay. Hmm. But I have to write that down. Try less. Yeah, if you're going bulk, reps. Drew's basically saying or, go go the heaviest you can go, and then just do like five reps. Or wait, okay. Or four reps even. But just less, do multiple less, sets of it. Less reps, more weight. Because I'm sure that I could do say six reps if I have the chest press pounds to like you know 75 or 80 well there you, you go. know if you want to get bulky there you go that's the idea I'm gonna have professional wrestler size fml pretty soon he's gonna be all walking out it's fucking massive professional wrestler um Look aren't those all... dudes usually like <laughs> tall as fuck oh, i just meant, no i just meant yoked wise i didn't care about oh. height, height don't matter okay <laughs> Yeah, there, there's a lot of short professional I mean, wrestlers. Do you know what a cruiserweight I, I, is? <laughs> yeah. A lot just, of the cruiserweights are aware. under six foot. Yeah, most of them. Because they got to be like under 180 or something like that. They're definitely all under two, 200 pounds. I thought it was 205. Or maybe it is two. Yeah, it is 205. You're right, because that's, that's what they call the, the show. Yeah. But even Chest so, a lot of those guys are smaller day. than that even. They push that 205 limit oh, yeah. very closely. <laughs> 
Yeah, the um, ones that are six foot hit that two of five. Like they had to cut just to they, make they're it. They're basically they don't even look yoked because they gotta lose weight. <laughs> right. Uh, say your max is eighty five on bench. Do reps like reps of like sixty five only hold four. Up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Time out. Um, You're talking about the bench press, Drew? He's just giving you an example. Oh. FML. When you did 85 pounds, how many reps did you do? I, I, I have never done. Uh, are you talking about the bench press? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like the bar plus the 40 pounds on it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I wrote them on my phone. Hold on a sec. Like, I take notes on there because, like, I want to keep track of what I can do and what I can't handle. And then I make a note saying, you know, it was too much. That's fine. But how many, like, if you did a lot of reps of it, then you definitely can go I've more. I've never seen this one, Mara. Mm. They must have added this. Yeah, FML, did you do more than one rep when you did 85 pounds? That's the real question here. I'm going with yes, because he can't remember a number, which means he definitely did more than one. <laughs> oh, this is like the so Stormblood stuff. Max. Yeah. Everyone talking shit to FML again when he's when he's not at the computer. No, we're no just whammies, saying. No whammies. He said he added 40, so I'm saying I'm thinking 20 on each side. Yeah. Because he's weak as fuck anyway. Yep. OK, here we go. Uh, bench press 40 pounds, three sets, eight reps each. That's what I did literally. So, I literally so did, did eight reps. Nine, I did that 9.30 this morning, yeah. So what you want to do to like have a baseline is just go in, keep adding weight until you can not do the weight. That's what you want to do. And you need a spotter for that. Yep. Yeah, I, I definitely do not want to injure myself. Because I, I, I'm already not sure how to do proper technique say for the oh, bench shit. press like i looked up today apparently ideally you want like oh, the no. bar to you want it to touch your chest first of all and second like it should be like about an inch below you like your nipples mm. something like that you definitely need someone to help you learn technique that's not something that you want to just try to learn on your own uh, well, maybe i should book a session then with zach just learn techniques. I forget how much he charges per session. <laughs> Drew's like, we got some work to do, FML. You didn't know it was just... <laughs> Even Drew was taking pity on me. <laughs> I didn't know it was this dire. I really have to get that workout for you. <laughs> Drew, I knew it was this bad. Ah, oh, damn. Because he doesn't even know what a max is, for real. <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> One controlled movements throughout, if you're losing. If you're losing your form, the weight is too heavy. Form is the most important. Yep. Ah, mm. <laughs> uh, boy. But when you don't know what the fuck you're doing, you want a spotter there that knows what they're doing so they can actually coach you on your form. That's why you need a spotter. Yeah. Aw, oh, man. Go for one more. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> I, need, I need to find a gym buddy, basically, is what you're saying. Yes, you need the gym buddy. If you're gonna do if you're gonna do bench press especially, yes, you need a gym buddy. <laughs> Even if you're doing squats, because well, we have got many yes. because I was squatting. Squats also. So, I, I just was thinking, like, the, anything with that big-ass bar where you need a spotter, definitely want a homie. 
I have not tried the squat. I, I'm I was totally convinced I'd injure myself, so <laughs> I've touched it. <laughs> Rainbow. <laughs> I mean, do you blame me though? Rainbow. Rainbow. The keeper, keeper of, of the, the keys. keys. Ah, I got hit by that. If you're going to go to Only SoCal FML, you, you might as well just go hang out with Drew and go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you work out. When you work out, fuck what anyone if I think you're doing. Just keep perfect form and do your workout. Go out to LA. I'm going to have to take your ass to the gym. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, yeah, getting back to that. Um... So like, so I don't want to be there July if that's like really the hottest month in Cali. I mean, it is usually yes. Uh, what would you say if I went there early June? Just go in December, bro. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. December in Cali is like June. No, December in Cali is like springtime. <laughs> yeah, springtime in Ohio. Uh, shit. I mean, in Ohio, that's probably a good comparison, yeah. <laughs> Funky probably won't even recognize me. He'd be like, "Who the hell is this?" I'd be like, "Hey, buddy, you just can't come over here." And oh, oh my God, it's Ryan. Nah, we don't call him Ryan. We call him FML. <laughs> yeah, there is call him no the Ryan. final loser. There is no Ryan. Just FML. Only <laughs> FML. Just, just <laughs> trash. <laughs> there is only trash. Uh -huh. Yeah, see what Drew said though. You want to come when it's hot for good reason. Nah. Y'all can keep that heat. Don't call me Mr. Hustle for no reason, bruh. Don't be a bitch. The heat build heat builds character. Yeah, it also be uh it also builds cancer. <laughs> and that's when all the girls come out FML. This uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm I'm sure the the Cali girls would get really hot for the Ohio stud. That is trash. If you walk around saying that, they won't. Hey. Just walk around normal, hey. genius. We don't claim you, FML. You ain't from Ohio, bitch. Shut the fuck up. That is I've true. I've been here a month now. You're still Indiana trash forever. I've been here a month, bitch. That's... How long is it going to take till you accept me, Marl? <laughs> what do I got to do? I mean, you're from Indiana, dude. That's where you're from. <laughs> do I got Do I got to make chocolate Buckeyes? I, I bet I could make those, actually. Those are super easy. It's literally just powdered sugar and peanut butter, and you dip that shit. And she still hasn't chocolate. made it for me. Dang it. That's pretty sad, honestly, Marl. <laughs> you need to get on that shit. Hey, he hasn't been here in like almost two months. Shut, shut your mouth. So? <laughs> Little baby Leviathan. Well, without sunscreen and shit, you're going to get fucked. Yeah, I know. I, I should have asked when I was talking to my neighbor. I, I should have asked about the whole being on the roof, getting a suntan. Oh, were you still planning to do that? Yeah. I need to get sun somehow. I'm white as, like, Casper the ghost. Yeah, you're pretty white. Damn, you're pretty Ohio white for a even, white guy. Ohio now not even claiming you. Damn, Marl. Gatekeeping that Ohio. <laughs> I know, she's an asshole. <laughs> Who isn't an asshole in this chat? Like, come on. I'm not. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I am a dragon. On the asshole meter, I think you're higher up there on all of us combined, sir. <laughs> no, no, I am not, not an asshole. You're I'm not a dragon. dragon. You're no. not a dragon type, though. Okay. You're an asshole type. <laughs> I have my own meter, thank you. You do that shit in Cali, you will <laughs> melt into the roof. <laughs> yeah, don't go on your roof yeah. and hang out. It's probably not a good idea, unless you like need to fix your roof. <laughs> you have to take like a giant spatula to like fucking, you know what I mean? Peel me off the roof. Bitch, stop gross. falling behind. Yeah, that would be gross. Who wants to be from Ohio anyway? Uh, that's a pretty good question, actually. <laughs> Drew. <laughs> Drew. Like, I mean, they what's don't have much even more in Ohio except for you know, slave trade. 
they don't they don't have much more than Indiana does. Um, the two things we, I can think of, you, you guys got Kings Island and Cedar Point, and that's about it. And Markiplier. Oh god. <laughs> uh, Again, slave trade. We're gonna, we're gonna ignore that part. We're gonna ignore the slave trade part too. And let's let's be specific on this. It's sex slave trade. We're gonna ignore that too. Mara, wasn't there another bus like last month? Uh I don't know. I remember reading it was I think it was last month, but it, it could have been like a couple of months ago. Another major bust. Only cool thing about Ohio is that you know Marl. Lame. Over one mark. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, Drew, hell yeah. <laughs> Stop giving us lesser summons. I guess I'll have to cancel that. I guess I'll have to cancel that movie Thursday in Indiana, guys. Why not? You can you can still go there act and film it. Oh, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you film just it? Like, you can film it in Indiana. It's right there, dude. What are you talking about? You can't. Just just like drive forty <laughs> miles to the west, and I'll just you know set up my set up my lighting and camera and shit exactly. and just start rolling. Why would you cancel it when it's not that far away? I mean, Virginia not doing any better. Oh! There's a lot in Virginia. Don't even <laughs> try that. I mean, you got a beach. That's kind of neat. No, it's not even that. <laughs> There's okay, history then what else? here, bro. There's history here. Colonial, <laughs> colonial history, yes. Yeah, slave trade. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> and at least it's not active in the current day, bitch. Um, did, <laughs> was it more southern, or did wow. Virginia did Virginia have cotton plantations back in the day? Oh my god, of course they did. Well, that's not, that's not helping you, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what what am I feeling? Yeah. What am I filming? Um, it's an independent film about a guy who can't get laid and he's from Indiana. Does that sound familiar to you, Drew? It's just his life this story, sounds like a, That sounds like a softcore porn It's movie. just a biopic about him. <laughs> okay, Mara, you got me. There is some side boot action like in the fourth scene, you know? But, yeah. Oh, I rolled a 19 on that, lame. A lot of what? Well, Hicks, five. Racist. Wow. Hicks racist and toothless wonders. And some fucked up insects, too. What, you got crazy insects over in Virginia there, Dragon? No. Not really. Okay, There's not know. a lot of hicks in Virginia either. You you Ooh. do realize a lot of the major bases for the entire country are in Virginia, right? Why is that? <gasps> One more. Dude, we got the arming station. Yeah, we dang. got... Fuck, go over. Fuck. <laughs> We got the arming station. We got the fucking uh, two ship building sites. We got a lot of the joint bases are here. A lot of the um, East Coast uh, Air Force stuff is here. I mean, well, well, but why is it there, though? That's just where the bases are located. OK. Hey, we got the elder. Hell yeah. Nice. So when they were thinking, hey, we're, we're going to set up like these uh, shipyards and shit here. And they're like, oh, well, why don't we throw it, you know, on somewhere else on the East Coast? Why don't we put it in like uh, Florida? They're like, fuck Florida. We're putting it here. I mean, I mean, fuck Florida. A lot general. of the like a lot of the admin for all the military branches are here in Virginia. And that's because it's close to freaking uh, the Pentagon. It's oh, really no. it. I'm dead. Oh no. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Okay. That's a nice amount you got there, Funky. I know, right? And then you just tossed it aside like oh, Yoshi. He'll be back. I didn't throw him into a pit of despair. I just let him disappear. Yoshi into... will be back too, man. He'll be back. I mean, there's. Have you, have you seen the picture of them falling into a pit? There's just a million of them down there. 
No, that sounds pretty funny though. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> Where's the one? <laughs> oh my goodness. One is down. I have no idea where two is though. Yes. Oh, here he is. My Three. thanks for keeping me to your company. Emmett Selk and Pithlidaeus have already retired Three, to their rooms. There is room for you too, if you would follow me. Nice. Four. What? I want to. Four is dead. Five. Five. Oh, turn around. Ah, I got Not petrified. Dead really? Uh, Five the, is dead. Through the power of memes, I discovered a gif of Yoshi falling down some stairs. Nice. Yeah. Go on. Uh, oh, look away from you? me. Oh my god. You're not the only That's one. That's hilarious. Others feel sad too. <laughs> You're not alone. That is definitely sheer worthy. Look away from me. That's a stack? Why is this a stack? Oh, I'm dead. Wow. <laughs> Thank god you're not the healer. He fucking died. First time I seen that kind of mechanic. Look away, look away, look away, look away, look away, look away. May we talk a moment? Dowged it. The healer's dead. <laughs> now that I finished Aria of Sorrow, which Castlevania GBA is my favorite? It's Aria of Sorrow. I think I like that one the best. Oh, shit. Uh, well, I'll just put it in. Oh, maybe don't look at me. Later. I don't, don't look think at me. We live for the star. That we strive to make it a better place. When you use copy image, like right click and you hit copy image, does that copy yeah, a gift too? Out my duties here. Like it's animation. There are times when I, am I don't think so. Nice. Let me check. Yay. Nope, it doesn't. You have to save the image as a gift. We got Ooh. all the way through to the end. That's awesome. Delete that message then. Death. I hey, nice. Oh, I, I borderline sent him a porn of terror earlier, so that was cool. <laughs> FML, link it to me. <laughs> oh, it, it's the it's the clothed image by uh, what's his name, Kamachan or whatever. Yeah, I know what you. I'm talking about the other shit. Link it to me. Why? Creations that he deems useless are discarded. Because I want to see if that shit worked. Now you should delete it before I could look. You should still play Harmony of Dissonance, Drew. Don't skip it. It's a good game. It's just, you know, it's just uh, Arya is better. That's all. I I would say Harmony was worth it though, for sure. Yeah, that enchanted so lumber was the, the material you needed for the Afforded enchanted bed, of life and aka the mount. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can ignore what Dragon and FML are talking about if you don't want to hear it, Drew. It's fine. <laughs> there you go. I thought it was pretty funny. They sense what awaits. Okay, it did actually send the gift. And it is not beautiful. Yet no one cares. No one. So he fixated are we about Throws up his middle fingers at him yeah. too. Mario's a dick. No, I know what you meant, Drew. You said fucking with him and you're going to play it. I'm just saying that that's a good thing. You're going to play it. Yeah. That's all I was saying. Like, definitely play it. Yeah. What What was Drew talking about then? Pain We're talking about Castlevania. Suffering. Confusion and despair. Huh. Writ plain in the well, you, you played the all the Game Boy Advance, Advance trilogy now? I finished them all. Hey, Mario, are yeah. you done with this right now? Jeez. Some yeah. Kind of or something. Kind of, right. but they're not that long. Only the, the, the longest one was the... I guess this, the Harmony of Distance was the longest one. Hey, hey, do me a favor and play that DS game that Walker has been like getting a big dick about for me. What Dawn of Sorrow? DS game. Is that what it's called? I'm assuming if you're talking about Castlevania, then yes. It's the one he keeps like begging me to play. It's the sequel to Aria of Sorrow, which is the one I just played, and he was there for a lot of that. Why don't you go ahead and play that for him?
I'll get around to it. No rush. Get around to it. A contradiction so blatant I could I'm taking scream. a Castlevania break now. I finished scream. the trilogy. I need a break. How can you all accept this? You say so. I got other shit, other collections I want to do. I wonder, <clears throat> am I the aberration for thinking thus? I, w I wish that Turtles collection was out already. I would play that right now, dude. I, I hell want to play it. Good. Well, I could play all those games, true, but I want the collection. It has the arcade games too. Like hell yeah. You you want it? You want it? Oh, FMO. Now that you have possibly better internet, we should do Streets of Rage. Um, yeah, we could try it at least. I thank you. I mean, let me test my speed here. To know that you too have experienced Even though me and FML were supposed to do it first, but that's cool. Fine, sure. Mm -hmm. we, we can do Streets of Rage 4. <laughs> Which I don't even own yet, but I will in due time. I haven't bought Streets of Rage 4 either. To so willingly lend an ear to ease my I wonder if any of this shit is worth You're selling. Strange one. What are you talking about? Stuff we got? Yeah, bismuth ore or whatever. Okay, so as of now, uh, my download speed is pretty fucking high, honestly. Like 227 yeah. megabits. And then my upload speed is 11 megabits. So, that's true. Yeah. Me and you could play Streets of Rage, Drew. Fuck FML, I agree. Let's do yeah, it. Fuck that guy, man. So many stars, so many lives. Still, he still has gotten no nowhere in life at all. <laughs> See which pair oh, plays better. It's a guarantee me and you, dude. Fuck, Probably. Fuck those guys. <laughs> I, I didn't, well, I mean, I didn't grow up with streets, so. I've watched Drew and his wife play. I, I they haven't beaten it, though. Streets, man. Those fucking streets. <laughs> get to you. To pose that question to our undiscovered cousins. Everyone else grew up in the streets, though. Isn't that right? Drew, there's not even going to be a comparison because you and Funk are going to be way better than me and FML. Because it's just going to be me carrying FML through the damn fight. I'll be like, hey, could you could you could you revive me and give me that pot roast on the ground too? She has a great many of them, and they have already departed on their journey. Yeah, we could try doing streets again. Star and then the next in search of life, as one might expect. Exploration. So I'd rather race FML at something and just so I could beat him at it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Avon's gonna be home soon, so I'm gonna hop out. We will make some okay. Bye, Mario. Oh. Bye. 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 Thanks for working out. <clears throat> Dragon's back. Gonna My be back hurting. was hurt in the first time I did that shit. We got <laughs> all the way to the final boss. I should be glad to share off. And that shit started lagging so bad, so I couldn't beat him. Yeah. <laughs> you guys actually got to the final boss? I never did watch that. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, we got yeah. to the final boss. It was getting so it's fucking getting laggy, though. Like, the lag was so bad, there was two seconds between inputs. Damn. Damn. Two that's, full seconds. That's way too That's way too much for a beat-em-up, especially. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, want, I would like to race you with something also, Drew. I don't know what you're Come meet you on We should all race something as a group. We could. We could. What game like, would that be, like though? all of us. We could. I don't know how we many of y'all... fucking Super Mario Brothers. I don't fucking care. I mean, I'm probably gonna lose, but like I would. That's not the I point. Mean, well, it would be a quick race, though, so that's good. Well, yeah, anything platformy that's old would be best, just because it won't take that long. Yeah. Mega Man X, I could see, I could see you versing that. No, Monkey, yeah, me and Mega Drew, Man yeah, yeah, Drew, Drew was, Drew would race. Mega Man X, I'm not as practiced at though man i mean i could play it i just have to i don't know how to go through that game fast donkey kong i could do fast though speaking of I being done missed. i gotta stop here soon myself because i gotta go pretty soon um yeah. i'm gonna grab this side quest right here and maybe do it if it's quick but otherwise i might stop here on the 14 situation but yeah, I mean, you could definitely. Yeah, oh. we should we should all race Super Mario World. I think racing a Mario game, if it's gonna be everybody, is well, probably best. Considering the first time I beat that Funky was carrying my ass, is that really a wise idea? <laughs> I mean, because you remember better, that, right? Better start practicing, boy. <laughs> yeah. And 
hell, we, we, I mean, we barely rushed the game, in, in my opinion, because there's, like, a lot of secrets. Wait, did we not do all the things? I thought... I mean, we didn't, we didn't even touch, like, Star Road or anything like that. I thought... Well, maybe I did. I know you didn't. I thought I did, like, start doing Star Road, and then I got annoyed, and then I just like, fuck it, I didn't finish it. I think that's what happened. Because I know there's one level in Star Road I fucking hate, and I just... I, got, I think I got there, and I just said, fuck it. Hmm. I thought so. I don't even remember now. Did we keep that playthrough? <laughs> was I streaming that, or you were only you were streaming that, right? Only I was streaming. Yeah. So it's, it's probably on, lost. Yeah, it's, on YouTube. it's probably gone no, forever. No, it, no I, I believe it's on YouTube. It better, I can look it up. Better be. Well, let's see. Well, you can prove whatever we just talked about, and you know, what, you know whether or not I went to star road i thought i went to star road at least i like i said i think i did star road but i, th I got to the special world is what i mean and the special world is where i said fuck it because i hate a couple of those levels Let's see. but yeah if we play mario drew it's i think that's more for like a, if, if like dragon said it would be good for an everyone race but me and you, yeah, we can do any platformer really. I'm I'm pretty much confident enough in my platforming skills that we can me versus you could pretty much be anything and it'll be at least be a good race regardless. Indeed. Know what we should do? What should we do? Nah. Uh I'm trying to think of ways to even out the playing field. Because you know some of us aren't as good at Mario. Right. Like I'm FML. Not I'm not good, period, <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking like we sip beer or something every time we complete a level or some shit. Okay. Make it interesting. Like Or but, take shots or but something. Wouldn't that but like for the person who finishes it first or everyone? Because like for everyone because if everyone's doing it the person you know in last is gonna stay in last <laughs> at least that's most like he might be just as good drunk well that's what i'm saying the person at first i mean if anything okay you're assuming that's gonna slow them down but then the person who catches up next is just gonna slow down also there's gotta be some kind of handicap you know what i'm saying i know what you're saying but i don't know if alcohol's the answer at least not if everyone's drinking on every you know specific thing and I'm, I'm amazed how old some of my videos on this channel are. Anyway, I'm gonna stop on 14 for here today because I, 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 I know I haven't really been talking much about the story. It hasn't really been that interesting here. We've just been talking with this Hermes dude and fucking Emmett and the other guy. It really, has been kind of a boring story. So it's a good thing these guys showed up because I've just been sitting here not talking. It's about to pick up again. Yeah, I think it will by the time I'm almost done here. But right now, it's not. It has not been great. <laughs>